My name is Britt Stacy. I work at Casper's Ice Cream, and I went through the automated manufacturing program at Bridgerland. I'm a maintenance technician on Grave Shift. I go through all of the equipment, make sure it's running 100% for maximum efficiencies. My name is Sean Anderson. I am the plant engineer at Casper's Ice Cream. We are a manufacturer of ice cream novelties. Our biggest product is the Fat Boy Ice Cream Sandwich. We also make stick bars, ice cream cones, tubs of ice cream, cups of ice cream, all kinds of stuff. Britt is one of our mechanical or automation technicians. Each day he is tasked with helping maintain and keep our equipment running. What that means can really vary a lot from day to day. We usually don't have a, a set schedule for the day, but my first thing I do when I come in is I grab my tools, I go out to the production floor and make sure everything's running smooth, make sure there's no problems anywhere, and then I do my walkthrough. So I'll walk through the building, just making sure everything's running smoothly and where it needs to be, nothing's out of place. Usually the 30 minute overlay with other technicians, they'll tell us any problems, big problems, small problems, pretty much anything that they can remember from what happened on their shift. So we have the knowledge just in case it happens again or if we need to further do any more work to what they've done. Every Friday, we make sure everything is ready for Monday. So any of the problems that production comes to us with, we'll usually fix on spot. And they usually have, you know, just the basic sensor problems, jam ups, maybe bent like buckets or slats or different objects on the equipment. As I've worked with Britt, what I have loved is his openness and willingness to learn. He definitely has the foundation knowledge that he needs to understand what we're talking about. And he is just always open and excited to get more information, gain more skills, and contribute more to our company. What I think is cool about working at this industry is all of the high-tech robots and all of the moving parts and all of the fancy equipment that are out there and being able to actually get my hands dirty and work with them and fix things on it and having that satisfaction of, hey, I fixed that. The skill sets that I've learned with the growing industry pretty much guarantees me to have a job. I hope that people understand that we are looking for technicians that have training and skills and education that are going to serve us in our industry and that these positions aren't going anywhere. <laughs>